Hi, I'm Johanna, and this is my debut album called Come Back Next Year. Though it's my name that's on the album, there have actually been a whole team of people that were involved in putting this together. Uh, Ryan Desmond from Top Floor Recording did all of the recording and mixing, and also played some licks on some of the tracks. Mauritz played electric, T played acoustic, Scott played bass and drums, and they didn't just play on the album, but they were all a part of writing parts and arranging, producing, and I really could not have done it without them. I hope that people listening to my music will find that it both meets them where they are and takes them somewhere better. Uh, Sanctuary, which is the first song on the album, is probably the most personal song on there. I made you my sanctuary. It's just kind of about a, a time in my life where I was really feeling like, you know, I've I've lived a good life. I've been a good person. I've made a lot of sacrifices and you know for the things that I believed and I was just feeling like things were not turning out as they should have been given that <laughs> and um, yeah it's just kind of about my journey trying to trying to process those feelings and trying to process through my discouragement, I guess, and disillusionment a little bit. But you're drawing me, you're drawing me Tin cans in my ears, strings set to my heart When I recorded the album, I had planned to record Windows but I never intended on actually keeping it on the album. I liked parts of the song, but I just felt that musically it was kind of corny. <laughs> and it was a song where I was trying to challenge myself as a songwriter, and I was trying to write in more of a storytelling way than is intuitive to me. Yeah, so anyways, I didn't intend on keeping that song on the album at all, but when we were recording it, Mauritz, who plays electric on, on the album, he wrote this really beautiful guitar line for the song that completely changed the dynamic, and I actually felt that it finally articulated what I wanted to articulate, but I hadn't quite gotten there musically yet. So it, it was a pleasant surprise, that song. <laughs> So To China is kind of a completely random song on the album. It's really different sonically from anything else. Even lyrically, actually, it's really different from all of the other songs. I've just kind of decided that if there are things that seem really inconsistent or really contradictory or like they don't flow together, um, I sort of decided not to care about that because for the most part that's sort of how my mind works. I find that I, I'm constantly just holding contradictory thoughts all the time and things aren't fluid in how I think or behave sometimes. So I, I think some of the inconsistencies of the album and maybe the fact that Tijana is totally different and in the dead middle of the album 
I think that still represents me in the sense that not everything's super consistent or predictable or makes any sense at all. So I wrote Lion Tamer when I was reflecting on the, the biblical story of Daniel in the lion's den where he's been thrown in a lion's den uh, with the idea that he's going to die, <laughs> that the lions are going to kill him. But the next morning when someone goes to check on him, he's, he's actually still alive. And I was just kind of reflecting on that story and imagining what exactly played out? The lions, but the are you know, was, did Daniel just have some incredible strength that came over him and he tamed the lions? Did the lions, were they all of a sudden, you know, their, their jaws were clamped shut and they couldn't move their feet? Or, you know, what exactly played out in that situation? The word sila means to pause and reflect. In the song, sila is a call to do just that. Breath knows our course before us. Sila, 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 sila. Sila, Sila, Sila.